Hi, hello, welcome, hello, hi, welcome, and also hello. We're back again, doing doing things where we open stuff that we find in the mailbox. As you know, it's it's a new month. It's uh May. May. And a new doohickey came to me in the mail today. The May Monster Bass Box. This has made my quarantine that much better. I love getting these in the mail. I can't go fish with any of it right now. But we'll have to get over that part. Let's see what they sent us this month. This, no one cares. Okay. Oh, I'm excited for this, this, this month. Let's start with this doohickey. This little guy. <laughs> little guy. The, the Booyah Bait Company Squelcher. This is a mammoth of a buzz bait. It has this super cool flat, the head on it's flat to keel out. It helps it come up on plane a lot faster. That's dope. Let's take it out. My sensitive little hands can't open this packaging. This, this is a, that's a big blade there. It's quite a, it's close. Let's see here. Yeah. It hits. It's scrubbed right there. It's not bad. I mean, you know, just a little extra wobble in it. The head on it's pretty cool. It's just a flat, a flat lead piece. That's neat. It's like a squid. I like the color on it. It has a, like flashing in it like you would use for a, for a, for fly lures. It's pretty neat. Big old long sh hook shank. And some, look at that. It's got some keepers on. That's nice. That, uh, that's gonna come in handy when I go back to the river. Oh, got a sticker. <laughs> Monster Bass, it knows what's up, dude. They know. They understand the struggle. That is a dope sticker. I don't know what I'm putting it on. What is going on with something? Alright, we have the Lunker Hunt Kraken, dude. I love chatterbaits. And this is a cool one. On most chatterbaits, holy crap, what is all this shit? Anyways, on most chatterbaits, you have the blade, which is then connected to the head by like a hook, so it swivels as well. And then that's connected to the heart of the hook. This time, the head is connected to the blade, and the hook is swinging separate. And these stupid freaking flashings, they're gonna get on my nerves when I cut them off. But instead of being, instead of being rubber banded on there, they're tied on there. Super nasty hook out the back. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, they used lead to make the cook keepers or the, the bait keepers. That's going to fall apart quickly, but that's a cool looking little dude there. That's a neat looking little uh, chatterbait. I like chatterbaits too. Not much as buzz baits, but I like chatterbaits too. We got some hooks. They don't claim to penetrate seven times faster. It's a variety pack worm hook. These are different aughts. And the slogan is keeping you hooked. Get that shit out of here. Tell me, okay, look. If your slogan is keeping you hooked, quit. Stop it. Get some help. A B8 Lab crankbait it says it dives uh, 2.5 to 3.5 meters. You know, I'm from the US. And I'm not, I'm not so sure about meters. Just saying. I don't care enough. I'll throw this in a, in a two foot pool and then probably lose it. Cause I'm sure two meters is not two feet. It's a neat, ow. It's a neat colored bait. The, the lip is kind of strange. It's not, it's not even. You see that? The lip is like, one side is more curved than the other. That's just my eyeballs. That doesn't look even at all. Maybe it's part of the design. I don't know. I'm going to use it. Uh, we have a Stanley Jigs casting slash... Or it's like, this is a casting jig. I'm still going to flip it because, you know, who casts a jig half the time? It's a nice little color there. It's not too bad. It's got a, what, like lime green and some, some black in there. I'm not good with colors, you know. So if I'm saying the wrong color, you can tell me I'm saying the wrong color and call me a, a, a doofus. Say, hey, doofus, that's not lime green and black. That's freaking purple and yellow. It's lime green and black to me. 
up next we have some more KVD lures ba uh, baits. I like these little things. These are just finesse worms. Finesse worms. If you don't have finesse worms in your tackle box, these are more like to me these are more trick worms. They're longer. Finesse worms are much shorter than this, but it's a nice color. It is. I can't read. This color is called dirt. <laughs> I thought I was reading that wrong. Nope, this color is called dirt. And they don't smell like anything, but like, they just smell bad. These don't smell like the last ones did. But you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna throw them anyways. Oh! Rabid Baits company never upsets. Like, they, they send some of the coolest stuff in Rabbit Bait. I'm not even gonna show you the whole package. I'm gonna show you one. Because that's all you need to see. You just need to see one of them. This is like the perfect Ned Rig Craw. That's poured in feathers or marabou. So I can get it better. Hey, there you go. That's a good. That's a good little craw color there. Throw that on a Ned Rig. Throw that. You can sink this sucker without a hook. Just tie some line around it, throw it in the water. A fish is going to hold on so tight, you just yank them out. You don't got to worry about setting the hook on them. The only problem I found with these is that when they pour the, the, the feathers in there, some get to go in all kind of wonky directions, and you have some come out of the head, some come out of the... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Fish don't know the difference. Fish don't know the difference. Why am I complaining? I don't know, because I can. Put that back in there, because I'm going to take that out. And throw that. I like those. Those are nice. Ugh. Ah. Get back in the package correctly. Oh. Alright. So those are pretty cool. Rabbit baits. Little craw dudes. What are they called? Rabbit crawls. Of course they're called rabbit crawls. Everything they have is called rabbit. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This is called a rip snorter. And this is some crazy packaging up for, to begin with. I've never seen anything quite like this. Um, it ha apparently has an interchangeable hook. You see here's a little clip on it. There's a little clip on the inside of this that you can pop the hook off of and put the new hook on. Um, it also says on the back that you can you can hook it up to like a treble hook design. You can set up for uh, no hook. Apparently no hook is an option on this one. Unlike our rabbit baits here, no hook is literally an option on the box. Um, oh, it's also, just a little tip, it's made out of 10X. If you don't know what 10X is, um, 10X is that material that uh, Z-Man baits use. Uh, so if you have this stored in a box, keep this separate from any other soft plastic you have. If you put this in, the little, in a box with soft plastics that aren't 10X, you just made lure soup. So don't do that. I'm not taking this one out. Uh, I'm not sure I would ever actually use this, but I will. I will eventually take it out and then and make sure. I, use it. I just don't want to get it mixed in with something that's not 10x and cause an issue. So yeah, that was a that was a pretty good box. Um, you might be asking yourself a few questions of why why does Alan's camera look so freaking weird? Well, my camera that I normally use to uh, record these things with. Uh, has decided to die so you might have a little better quality for a while while I use my cell phone <laughs> um, I got my other camera wet on accident uh, so yeah I'm gonna be recording like this for a while and, and I mean get over it I'm just kidding but yeah that's April uh, May May monster bass box so I hope you like it I hope it was it's cool for you uh, well, it's been fun. Uh, I love you, <laughs> but you gotta go. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, bye.